Welcome back. Well, here's the current quiet view looking out from Bethany Lutheran College in Mankato, showing blue skies and sunshine as that sun works its way up. You head outside, you're going to notice it's a really refreshing start to the day, being that temperatures are ranging from the mid-50s into the low 60s. The lowest we have is 55 degrees in Wasika. We're seeing 57 degrees in Owatonna as well as Olivia. 60 degrees in Blue Earth and here in Mankato with the warmest coming in at 62 degrees in St. Peter. Not only are we dealing with comfortable conditions, but light winds overall. Most of the area is sitting under calm conditions up to 10 miles an hour out of the north-northwest. Of course, as always, we could see on occasion winds up to 15 miles an hour, but again, just goes to show that we are expecting light winds, not just now, but all day. Satellite radar imagery showing that it has been clear and quiet through the overnight hours into this morning. And a lot of the times we say, oh, we look out west, you know, sometimes we can see stuff moving in from the west into the area because that will eventually move into here. But as we take a zoomed out look, there's a whole lot of nothing going out, um, going on out to the west, not in the Dakotas, not in Wyoming, not in uh, Montana. So no matter where you look out to the west of us, not a whole lot going on. In fact, there is a high pressure system and when you have a high pressure system that usually tends to lead to things like more fair weather. That means sunshine, sometimes pleasant temperatures, sometimes depending on the pressure system being a high pressure system, it can lead to a heat dome with that high heat and humidity. Now that's what they're looking at more to the west is a, a small heat dome out there. So they're looking at potential abnormally warm possibly record breaking temperatures out there and really dry conditions indicating elevated fire risk. So they are also not only dealing with warm temperatures, but fire danger weather as well. Now, the closer you get to our area, the less we see that fire danger because of all the rain that we've had um, over the past couple of months, especially the past month or so where we had that flooding a couple weeks ago. Taking a look at the future cast, as you saw, there's not a whole lot going on out west, so you can imagine that there's not going to be a whole lot going on here later today or really even tomorrow. So the biggest thing we're going to see is a few passing clouds here and there, but comfortable temperatures. The high pressure is situated more to the west of us, so our temperatures and conditions here are actually going to be rather comfortable and pleasant all around. So we're not really looking at the heat dome as that is more to the west of us. We're going to hold on to more sunshine throughout the day tomorrow with pleasant temperatures and light wind. So whatever we're dealing with today, we're going to kind of copy and paste that over into tomorrow. But we're going to crank up the temperatures by a few degrees. That's about it. That's really the story of the week. We're looking at 73 for the high today by this afternoon with light winds and plenty of sunshine. Keep in mind, even though we're looking at the mid 70s, we're still looking at a high UV index of 7.1. Takes 20 minutes to start getting a sunburn if you're not protecting your skin. So make sure you are taking the necessary precautions to keep your skin safe from getting that sunburn, whether it's you or your kiddos or friends or family members apply and reapply that sunscreen. Cool and comfortable tonight with a low of 55 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast showing temperatures rising from the mid 70s now into the low 80s through the weekend and next week. We have a lot of sunshine and quiet weather on the way, but we do have a chance for some isolated storms possible all throughout next week. Stay tuned. We'll wrap things up after the break.